um, so today I want to uh, record um, what I've done for my uh, projects uh, and how the uh, uh, CI is able to generate uh, the warp file and uh, how it is being set up in Bitbucket. Then I also tried in GitLab and also in Circle CI. So I just want to show how these are set up right now. So for Bitbucket, I use the pipeline and in the pipeline I created the Bitbucket uh, uh, pipeline dot YAML file. So the important step was I had the, the settings as 7.5 in my um, Spring Boot application for Gradle setup. So I had to use the same one and uh, I have set the artifact and uh, this artifact I am trying to um, push to my server tomcat server and i was able to push initially with uh, a different setup for the file um, so i have set up my um, user password server and the war location um, i still need to set up and test uh, this one uh, because i was initially able to push all the files or the code and not and not the particular war file so this one i am logged out now so i will try to check in the next month uh, because uh, uh, once i get the um, uh, get the um, pipeline enabled um, because right now it is passed so i need to wait till it gets uh, set up so let's uh, just see how the previous run was there so in this uh, the important thing was uh, i wanted the build successful and they also provide a security scan by default so if you see the report uh, i did not see any issues but uh, we we might uh, know in future and uh, i was able to push the files um, to the ftp deploy and uh, it pushed the files to my ftp's deployment um, so that one worked uh, but i wanted to push the war file um, the main drawback for this was it uh, deleted all my files and uh, created a uh, uh, new entry and I had to then manually push my war file to the correct uh, web apps folder. So we'll try to see how that works. Um, so the next thing I wanted to show is uh, I also uh, went to GitLab. Um, so I created a project uh, just by logging from my Bitbucket account and uh, i came to the pipelines so let's see one of the pipelines set up here so it created the gitlab uh, um, cl file so let me show that file um so this is the gitlab cl file uh, yeah so this is very simple um 7.5.1 um i didn't update any of these but i just added the grid uh, gradle build and the path um, so this was able to generate the um, war file uh, let's see uh, i'll show the continue pipeline so it was able to create the artifact and uh, i saw the artifact uh, in the build archive so if you see um, I hope I can see the folder. Yeah, so it's getting downloaded again, but I'll try to show what is the content of that. So it was able to generate the war file, and uh, again, I'm just downloading that. Uh, so it seems it is downloading. Mm. So the main drawback uh, that I could see in GitLab is I was not able to push to FTP uh, for my Tomcat server, um, but at least it was able to generate the WAR file. Um, so this is the example again, which I try to uh, discuss. Um, so this was also uh, the other uh, main one. Uh, maybe I'll try to see if uh, how I can try to deploy through GitLab. Um, so that is another pending work as well. Um, the third option I tried is uh, um, Circle CI. 
So this also provides a option to log in through Bitbucket. And uh, for this, uh, what it had done is uh, it had created a new project setup. Um, so if you go to Bitbucket, it created a separate uh, CLI project setup. In that, uh, it created its own config file. So once I created the config file, I was uh, trying to push this uh, to this uh, put, put push these changes and uh, right now i had the change um, oh, sorry yeah let me see here again Um, yeah so this was the latest file i just did gradle build and i'm storing the artifacts from build uh, lips um, so it was able to just push the file uh, to the cli um, so let's uh, go back to CLI again. So it uh, it it was able it was successful once I go to the build, and uh, these were the two important steps. One is build uh, it was able to build successfully, and the thing, second thing was it was able to publish the artifacts to my folder. Um, so. Uh, once I uh, once I was able to go there, I was able to see that uh, it it shows the artifact associated uh, exactly with the file. Um, so this is good that uh, I could directly um, get the WAR file. Um, so let me see how it uh, downloads. Uh, hopefully, I'll just uh, remove the artifact file name and uh, it might uh, it should uh, still be able to uh, at least it uh, directly came let's see yeah so it was a compressed file um yeah so that i have to see how i can just download um, yeah so the next step i still want to do is to push it to the um push it to the tomcat server through ftp or ssh so We'll update once I could see something on that. That's it for now I had. We'll update next. Thank you.